Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we have hopefully an epic video. Now, you guys know I have been on a 300 buying spree. I bought this one. I bought that one. And then this butte right over here. Holy cow, that thing is looking sexy. Now, I did just get back from Kentucky and, uh, well, we picked up another YouTuber's four-wheeler. We picked up this 300 right here. Now, you got the crappy one, you got the intermediate one, and then you got the super nice one over there. Well, we just kind of discovered something this morning. We came out into the garage fully prepared to snorkel this four-wheeler. What? What? It's leaking oil! Now this is not good because if oil can come out, water can come in. We cleaned off the spot on the bottom of the case. I'm hoping we don't have to split the cases to put a new gasket in. If that's the case, we might as well just sell it. She gone. But we probably are going to go ahead and snorkel it today and just pray that uh, the leak's not too bad and we don't sink it. But as of right now, we can't do a whole lot about the oil leak. So we're just going to, you know, send it and hope things will buff out. Miller, dude. You ready to go to Lowe's? We got a snorkel to put together. Again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Woohoo! We are uh, done with Lowe's. We got the snorkel. We got one more stop. We got to get some silicone. Now, I wanted black label silicone. Could not find it. I also needed some one-way check valves for the carburetor overflow. Could not find any. But I'm going to go break into the parents' garage. I think I might have a couple in there. Well, boys, we got the gasket maker. I'm trying to think of what else we need. Because we're going to get home, and we're going to have forgotten something. So uh, we're going to look around the store. We're at AutoZone. Let's see what we can find. Nice. 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 Hundred percent. All right, boys, we just got out of Auto Zone. We got dielectric grease. We didn't get dielectric grease. Really? Yes, really. Brayden. Shut up. You such an idiot. Tuna dielectric. Now we're done. Back to the house. I love you. Dielectric grease in the bag. Let's go to the house. We got a lot of work to be done. <laughs> no way. It's gonna be tall enough. I'm gonna put it on outside. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the garage, and it is time to start snorkeling the 300, baby. Now, first time I've ever snorkeled a 300. Uh, I watched a couple YouTube videos. The main thing you gotta really worry about and look at and try to figure out is no matter what foiler you're snorkeling, is how you're getting that a connection from the airbox to the piping. I watched one video, and we're doing what this one guy did. I don't really like the idea. We might come back and change it. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty clean. So, uh,. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead, pull out the air box, re-silicone all the stuff, take this whole foiler apart, and uh, start snorkeling it. Now, Miller, mm -hmm. talking to you right now. Yeah. Should we go through the plastics? Like through the plastics right here, or up and around the plastic? Cause I don't, I do plan on reselling this thing. Yeah. And I, making money back. If you yeah. cut a hole in the plastic, you're killing the value. Definitely. Heavy. Yeah. I would run it out and come up and do it over. I wouldn't cut the, I wouldn't cut clean plastic. So you think that we should just run it straight up right here and you know, temporary snorkel so we can take it off and we sell it. Yeah, I would I would just run it out, you know, honestly. Well, if that's the case, that's going to be super easy and shouldn't take too long. Uh, when you're drilling up through the plastics and whatnot, you want everything to be perfect. If it's going to be a temporary snorkel, what's the big deal? All right, boys, let's go ahead, tear this thing apart, get the snorkeling, and uh, I'll jump in and talk here and there. Let's cut to the montage, baby. Well guys, the AirPods was so easy to get out. Holy cow, I wish all foilers were made like this. I mean, just bare bones, simple, easy to work on. This thing's too easy to work on, it's crazy. 
But, we got the air box out. We're gonna go ahead, redo this seal around the air box. It's, it looks pretty tight. I mean, yeah, no, that won't be waterproof, but it's pretty tight. Redo this seal on here, basically re on the air box up. The carburetor wasn't connected to the air box. This clamp was missing. I did buy an extra clamp at Lowe's, so we're covered, but that kind of scares me. It doesn't look like much of any trash has gotten into the carburetor, so I mean, I'm not that worried about it, but kind of funky, bro. Threw me for a loop when I seen that. But, go ahead, pull these out, get this air box watertight, start running the vent lines while we do this and basically just start going at it son All these vent lines, every vent line I pulled out of this boiler has been in its complete stock location, which is absolutely crazy. Everything about this boiler is completely stock. This is a 26 year old four wheeler. And I mean, quite literally these rubber boots, man, original rubber boots, 26 years old, they look freaking flawless. Everything about it's flawless. They used to build stuff right. They just don't build it like they used to. I know it's like a saying, everybody says it, but it's, the cold hard truth. One badass foiler, man. 26 years old. This freaking, I mean, these rubber boots should be shot. If it was a 2021 Rubicon, these would be shot. We got four vent lines ran. The air box is about to get started on, about to silicone it and let it dry. And after that, we can throw the air box back in it, finish the vent lines, and start running the snorkel up. <laughs> boys it is time to do the gas cap this is a sketchy part uh, what you do is pry this off you gotta tap in your threads into this little piece up under here and then we'll thread into there and then you can vent your 300 gas cap the steel gas cap baby so we're gonna take our flathead i'm really scared because these gas caps on the ebay they're like 50 bucks a pop i hate doing this to a minty gas cap like this i can't really get up under there i love how we tear apart the garage every time we do something in here little chisel type thing can't get up oh boy it came up uh oh it went back down Let's see if we can get it on this side all right dude that's just oh i don't even want to scratch it dog all right baby pop off i think it started coming it moved oh bingo bingo was his name oh so uh this little thing pops off here this is your on and off gas adjuster wait is it turned to on or off it needs to be turned to on okay it looks like it's turned to on sweet sweet let's see yep it's on that's a little sketchy. What That's do you have to a do? lot you gotta drill out. And there's a spring in there, son. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We just sent Christian to Lowe's. I wonder if they have a smaller one of these. Yeah, this is the exact one we're supposed to get. All right, now I'm getting nervous. Get out the old tap and die set. So it's supposed to be this one. Back to YouTube. No way. Dude, we gotta make it work. No way. I'm gonna stick that O-ring back in to help it seal. Yeah, do you think you should? It's not great, but you know, I might just JB weld it on and call it a day, because it won't leak then. Perfect, baby. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Seal All. We did watch Mud Puppy's video. He does use this stuff. Uh, he's big 300, dude. I'm not a big 300, dude. I do own three now, but you know, I'm not. I haven't done a lot with them yet. But uh, he recommended use this Seal All just for anything with the gas to seal up. So we're gonna throw some of that in there. Probably just put too much. Dude, that shit on your lips burns. Well, now we're doing arts and crafts right now, right? We're doing arts and crafts, baby. Uh, I'm new to this arts and crafts stuff. We're using JB Weld because, you know, it's a 300. If it doesn't have JB Weld on it, it's it's, it doesn't room. qualify as a 300. But uh, we're going to JB Weld this, this piece on. And uh, we should be 100% watertight there. Just to be sure, this is a brand new seal, OEM seal for the gas cap, because even if you're sealed here, if you're not sealed on that seal around the top of the gas tank, <laughs> what's the point? You don't want to get water in these gas tanks or they will rust. Great, what color is it going to be? Now take a big bite. Take All right, now we're going to spoon feed it on here. Guys, this is not a tutorial video. Please do not do what we're doing. What are you doing here, bud? Making uh, a mess, dog. All right. That's real nice. I should have like 
tried a little bit harder on this because everyone's gonna be looking at this the entire time. Yep, yeah, but nope, you just I did just send it. Hey, look who's back. Who put me up for arts and crafts? I failed art class in high school, just so everybody knows. It's clogged. If you use the seal all stuff, you gotta be very careful with it because you will clog up your vent. We're uh, right now just making sure it doesn't get clogged. But new gas cap seal is on, JB Weld, a little screwing things on there. This gas cap's ready to go. She's breathing. Just gotta Probably. run front diff vent, front brake vents, and... Damn, we haven't even started on the snorkel. Crap, dude. <laughs> Boys, we are going through and dielectric grease into everything. Here's the CDI box. Put a little dab of dielectric grease in there, a little dab in there. Yeah, that is an OEM. Now, that's weird that it's red. I did not think it'd be red, but we got this dielectric grease up. We're gonna run through everything. We got all the vent lines ran. Dielectric grease everything. Dielectric grease the plug. Oh, uh, and then just slap together the snorkel. If we're not running it through the plastic, that's probably gonna be the easiest part. It's all relatively super easy. <laughs> Go ahead, throw the gas tank back on it so we got an idea of where it sits. Now what we're gonna do is run it to about here and just trace up these plastics. And I guess come over and maybe zip tie it up right here or something. We gotta make it sturdy somehow. Huh? So we gotta make it sturdy somehow. Huh? I don't know how we're gonna make it sturdy yet. It is what it is. Just filing it down, getting all the crud off of it. Well guys, we're just mocking up the snorkel. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start gluing pieces together. So uh, enjoy the time lapse. is up and it is watertight we got to run all the vent lines we got to paint it yada 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 so uh we'll just pick you guys up when it's all done and complete ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is a new morning the 300 is snorkeled check it out now obviously it's a temporary snorkel we'll probably leave it on for two or three weeks until we sell this puppy everything is ran I mean everything. Now I could not buy, find a one-way check valve for the carburetor overflow, so we put some loops in it. We're gonna plug it whenever we go into water and unplug it in case the floats stick while it's not in the water. We got all the vent lines ran. As you can tell, we got a shitload. I mean a shit in all caps load of vent lines ran. We got everything from every diff, every brake, every gas tank vent, every carburetor vent, every the crankcase. I mean everything is ran. Everything's watertight. This thing should run underwater like a champ. If it cut off underwater, it just wasn't meant to be because it is done right, baby. We got the snorkel painted, looking good. And honestly, we put these hose clamps around the rack and the snorkel to hold it pretty solid. I mean, it's, all, it's not gonna vibrate like that, no. I don't think. No, it's, it's be right. We really gotta worry about it vibrating bad and putting a lot of pressure on it due to where it actually goes into the air box. It do, we do not wanna mess up that silicone down there because then it will probably sink. And you know, it's a 300, it is what it is if it sinks. doesn't take much to get it to cut off with your hand over the snorkel. It's funny because like on the 500s, it'll suck in the air box. That thing is breathing so hard, it'll suck down the air box. But a little 300 motor, I mean, not going to do that. But, I mean, we're ready to slap on the GoPros and go hit the pond. You guys have seen enough garage content. Let's throw on the helmets and roll. All right, we get to go put this thing in the pond for the very first time. Oh, this is going to be wild, dude. Holy crap. I'm a little nervous. We lowered all the air pressure in the tires down to about three to five psi in each snorkels completely sealed it's not vibrating bad at all so far i mean this should be crazy man this should be freaking wild i've never been in water with a 300 but this thing should be floaty which i hate the idea of that so we might have to throw some weights on it you don't want to idle now boy oh <laughs> the gas is off yes sir a little ripper baby 
Now we do have these bald ass tires on here, so it's a possibility we're just gonna get stuck, but it's also a possibility that uh, we're not gonna get stuck and this is gonna work perfect. Who knows? I'm a little nervous. This thing's so low to the ground, the water's gonna be like here, baby. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to stand up just so I don't get sucked, but the bars are definitely going fully under. I feel like I should idle her up a little bit. I don't know. That idle seems fine. That should work. Oh, we got the Renegade here. It's back up to pull this puppy out if it sinks. I have full faith in it not sinking. So let's hope for the best. That's plugged. Everything's plugged. Everything's ready to go. All right, boys. Let's send it. Oh, please don't cut off underwater. I am going to lose my shit if it does. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm nervous. We're running. We're running. Uh, it didn't want to run. Everything is ran. I mean, everything. Everything's watertight. I have full faith in not sinking. Oh, please don't cut off underwater. I am going to lose my shit if it does. It didn't want to run. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> what the hell happened? We were going. It was very floaty, which is a good sign. I don't know why that did that. This snorkel's done right. Bro, it was doing its thing until you know it wasn't. What the hell, man? Well, I guess let's check the air box and uh, drain all the water out of the ass. No water in the air box, not a drop. I just didn't want to. Idle? Didn't want to run. Yeah, no, it's not like it went into a cold shock, I don't think. I don't know if that's gas or water. But I mean, it's not like slam full. No, there's just a little bit. That's so, Man, so this, weird. Don't want to idle, bro. I mean, I was on a throttle. Yeah. <gasps> we should... Oh yeah, there's water in the exhaust. Maybe there's water in the fuel. Possibly water in the fuel. I feel like that's it. I feel like there's water in the fuel. How'd water get in the fuel that fast and where'd it come from? Yeah. Everything's like, vented. Yeah. See if it'll idle out. I think it's too rich. I just blew all the gas out of this uh, overflow line. There's a lot more in it than we thought. Really? Like kind of like the float stuck. Gotta let it burn all out. So since it will only run on choke, if this choke is restricting the airflow, it's gonna, I think it's just running way too rich right now. Yeah. And I think that's due from the carburetor drain bowl uh, not having a place to flow out. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't do that. No. But there's a lot of gas in there for some reason. Like it got way too much gas all of a sudden. But it hasn't leaked like regularly riding it. Well, you sent it first try. Like didn't have no, like no, what? no you gotta plug. send it. So, came back. My theory was correct. Drain the carburetor bowl, fired right up, ran flawless, no issue, right after the carburetor bowl was drained, which means bad gas, aka water's getting into the carb somehow. I was looking at all the vent lines. They're all pretty damn tight on there. There's not water getting by them. So I'm starting to think, okay, well, maybe there's a bad gasket in the carburetor. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, shit, I don't want to pull this carburetor off and replace or make all new gaskets for it. Golly, man. We just got done working on the thing. So yeah, I was just, you know, just out of curiosity, pulled the drain plug and she milky, baby. Mm. She milky. Today's not going as planned. To say the least, because this thing should be completely sound, dude. I think there's something going on with the carburetor, whether there's a bad seal on the carburetor, yada, 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 whatever it could be. But that's a lot. I mean, I don't want to rebuild the whole carb right now. Hell, I got to pull off the snorkel to get it off, or at least detach it. So you don't want to run. Now we got water in the bottom end. I think the first time when the bike went under and it was, there was so much water in it, I think that's when it actually got water in the oil. And it must have been coming in through the carburetor. That's the only thing I can figure, man. I and mean, that's why I was struggling to start. Yeah. And I just went down by the rings and mm. went through the valves, went down through the rings, and <laughs> now it's in the oil. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We sunk the 300. Kendall, we Sorry. sucked your foil, everybody. It didn't take long. The whole snorkel system's watertight. All the vent lines are watertight. They're perfect. Every vent line's ran. Something's funky with the carb. It's getting water in through this carb 100%. I guess we'll just pick you guys up on the next one. We we're supposed to uh, do something a little on the crazy side today with a 10-foot <laughs> snorkel on this thing, but if it won't run underwater, 
you know, what, what, what are we gonna do with it? So, I don't know, we gotta get it figured out, boys, because this video we're gonna do is gonna be epic. So you guys, if you would, like and subscribe. The video didn't really turn out how it was supposed to be. We are supposed to have fun riding this thing, ripping it <laughs> in the water, but now I gotta spend another two hours on it, tearing apart this thing and making sure it runs right. Guys, if you would, go ahead, hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully this thing will idle underwater and hopefully it's not going to be smoking. Like, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.